here is the spot where Abigail Borden was murdered. Yes. Even walking in here is hard. And you and Chris captured more EVP in this room? Yes. Okay. A lot of EVP in this room. I'll do a quick EVP here. Go ahead. Lizzie, do you have anything to tell us? Starting here, what did you guys capture in this room? I mean, that's really creepy. You can hear that. And it's like she's calling out like she's crying. I'm a good daughter. Yes. There were always rumors of unspeakable conduct coming from the Borden home. Allegations that Lizzie's father, Andrew Borden, may have abused her. If true, did years of abuse finally drive Lizzie to seek vengeance? And could that bloodlust have spilled out onto her stepmother, Abby, who really did nothing to stop the abuse? In reality, Abby was Lizzie and Emma's stepmother, whom Lizzie referred to as Mrs. Borden when she was questioned by the police. That particular EVP can reverse. So wait a minute, you've taken the audio and played it backwards. Exactly. What did you capture or think you captured then? Well, that's the thing. It sounds pretty much like the same voice, like a woman in distress, and it's clear reversed. If we're hearing Lizzie claiming or, or proclaiming her innocence in the first EVP, we play it back, my daughter was raped. I, I mean, I hear it, I hear it dead on. That's exactly what's playing to us right now. Abigail Borden was not Lizzie's mom. Abigail Borden was her stepmother. Exactly. Her actual mother died when Lizzie was very young. Could it be the spirit of her biological mother trying to give us some insight into what happened? Lizzie seems to be verbalizing, vocalizing between the other side and here, trying to fill us in, trying to help us understand what's taken place here.